All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So this here is my newest router edition. This is the Festool OF 1010 REQ router. It comes with the plug it cord. It actually comes with two rods. It comes with this little uh, insert here, an eight millimeter collet, chip deflector, bushing guide, 19 millimeter wrench, and it also comes with the rail guide for running the router on a rail. Now, if you look here, I also have some extra accessories. So I purchased the actual edge guide for the 1010. If you look at it here, it's a piece of metal here. It's non-adjustable if you look on the back side here. And it actually comes with two rods. So I found that to be interesting, the fact that when you buy the actual OF 1010 REQ F, it comes with the edge guide with two rods, but when you buy the actual edge guide itself for the 1010, it comes with another set of two rods. So that's kind of convenient because then you don't have to actually switch out the rods like you do on the 2200 and also on the actual 1400 you actually have to use the same set of rods and use it for the edge guide and then also or for the edge guide and then also for the um, guide stop for the rail so um, just taking a closer look at the router itself now just laying the, the actual router down here noticing the difference first and foremost let me start off with the base so right here it does not have the um, quick release bases you actually have to use like a posi drive screwdriver to remove the base and that's how you would actually put on your chip deflector here and then also your bushing guide here and the other thing is these components are not metal they're actually plastic so this ring comes out with an actual screw and you got posi screws all around here that's what i assume these are posi they're not your typical phillips screws you also have two screws here that would be to remove the dust collection nozzle. It is plastic, so if it gets broken, I'm pretty sure that's a replaceable item. If, you, if we turn it around, looking at the other side of this uh, ring here, you can see that there is a lip right here, and that is uh, for dust collection as well. You've got a knob here, and then turning it around, a knob here for attaching the guide rail or the uh, rods to attach the edge guide and the guide rail attachment here you've got a little foot and this works in conjunction with the guide rail component you've got a knob here that you turn to depress the router and then if you you know turn it to lock it it'll stay in place you try to do that with one hand so you've got the knob here You've got micro adjust on the router, which is great. Right here is the butt. This is the button that you're gonna utilize to actually lock the collet. So this one does not have the ratcheting collet release. So that's a little bit of cost saving deal here. Right here, you've got your trigger and you've got a little green button here. You push it in and you can actually lock the actual trigger in the on position and then you'll just push it again or pull the trigger again and it releases it. You've got a speed setting here. It goes from six as the highest all the way down to one. This one here goes, it looks like to about two and a half, about two and a half inches or whatever as far as the actual range of depth. You've got your three little pillars to set three different depths. Good build quality. I would say it's basically exactly the same as the Festool 1400 and also the uh, 2200. It's just missing the component of the ratcheting clutch and also the quick release bases. 